Hello students. Welcome back to Nam Seoul University and welcome to Intermediate English Conversation class. So everybody, check your syllabus. You should uh, be in Intermediate English Conversation that is Jungup Yongo Hui Hua. Uh, so I expect you guys are the intermediate, you're the middle level, you're not chobo, and you're not advanced, you're intermediate, but I have a feeling that many of you are very good at English. So here we are, uh, back to school again. Well, first thing is first, let me introduce myself about myself well you probably already know my name my name is george buyer or many people know me as joji uh, you can call me if we are in america some people are on there or we're in canada or europe or something some people are more comfortable to call me by my my personal name my item my item is george my song, my family name is is Bayer. So you can call me George, or you can call me Mr. Bayer, Professor Bayer, or if you if you if you really really want to, you can call me Joji Gyosu. However, this is an English class, so I prefer you call me by the proper English title, that is um, Mr. Bayer or Professor Bayer or George not Mr. Joji. Although that's very cute. Uh, it's not the correct way to say it. Um, so maybe I had some of you as students before. I, I, I can't see you right now. So I don't know who is in this class. I can look at my attendance list, but that's probably going to change. Those of you who don't know me, this is what I look like. Are you ready? Ah, very handsome, right? Ah, but maybe that's not the real me. I promise it's not Photoshop, though. Ah, here I am looking very sick and tired. I'm wearing my mask to protect me from coronavirus. Ah... Here I am next to the Han River in Da Nang, Vietnam. That's right, it's also called the Han River. Uh, yeah, that's me on holiday. You're seeing me there in rare form. Have any of you ever been to Vietnam? Yes, I'm sure many of you have. It's a very lovely country. And next here I am being very cute with the iPhone photo app. Yes. Hmm. Well, you know, pictures are worth a thousand words, we say. So I think maybe you might feel a little bit more comfortable if you can see what I look like. In any case, hopefully in a few weeks, you're really going to see me, right? So, okay. Well, there, unfortunately, I don't get to know you too well yet, but hopefully we're going to change that very, very soon. What is that building? Ah, yes, that is the Sangyong Hakwan. Yes, well-known building sitting in the center of campus. Possibly we may be having class in that building. Uh, I don't know yet because every class is in a different building, but often they seem to put us in that building, which is very convenient for me. You'll see why, because you're going to need to contact me. This is important information. So if you're in class, whether you're at home or you're uh, in the class at Nam so you probably have a pen, notebook with you. You have your laptop. Take down this information. Uh, my email is george.namshol at gmail.com or you can talk, contact me on the e-class uh, at the NSU portal. I usually don't use the e-class, but since we're in a kind of special situation nowadays at Namsol University, I'm probably going to have to use it a little bit. 
So please send me an email there if you have any questions. Please don't email me just the day before class, the night before class. I might not get a chance to check it and give you a good answer. So send me an email uh, far in advance, please. Or you can come to visit me in my office here in Sangyang Hakwan. I'm on the first floor, that is room 104. You can see my name on the office door. Uh, now these are some kind of my preliminary, my early office hours. I don't know, they might change sometime soon. I might add some more, but for right now I have at least these, okay? So uh, Tuesday, 1 to 4 p.m., Wednesday, 4 to 5 p.m., and Thursday, 4 to 5 p.m. But I think, like I said, that I'm going to add some more, but I'm not sure 100% yet when. I think it's not a big issue yet because most of you are probably not at Namsul University right now, right? Not until the real classes start. But I promise you, I will give you some more complete office hours as the semester goes on. Okay, so if you can't find, if you don't know where Sangyan Hakwan is, just look at that building there. It's that big one in the middle. Come see me. I love to have visitors. Uh, I love to talk, and I have a lot of games I like to play in my office. I'm a, I'm a big fan of board games. So please come and see me. Okay. Next, well, the big bad news, of course is about COVID-19, the virus that is causing a big pandemic around the world. Uh, it's very sad news, fighting. I hope, I hope we can beat it soon. Uh, but for now, Namsul University with the Korea Ministry of Education, Jo yok -bu, has ruled that uh, we should uh, have online classes, as you know. So please, uh, I want to reiterate again to say always many, many times, I know you know it, you're not babies, but I want to say, please take care of your health, wash your hands many, many times, sleep eight hours. Your body's biggest defense against illness is sleep. It's the number one thing you can do. Your body heals itself when it sleeps. So if you're sleeping three hours a day, four hours a day, going to PC bong, drinking, you're not helping your body and you're making it easy for a virus or other things to happen to you. Drink a lot of water. Again, water cleans the body. And eat lots of fresh fruits and vegetables, not the juices. They have a lot of sugar in them. Eat fresh fruits and ve vegetables. I know you guys love like banana milk and sangyapsal and all of these things, but fruit and vegetable is the best thing you can eat at this time to protect your body from the virus. So please, um, I know you know these things, but uh, I just want to reiterate it again because we're going into the semester again and we're going to be in contact with a lot of people. Okay. Um, and of course, check our e-class portal. Check our e-class portal. Um, well, how I usually like to teach in class, as you can see here in this picture, there's um, a lot of people talking and, and getting to know each other and a teacher is talking to a student and I feel like everybody's really comfortable, right? This is this is called communicative teaching, right? So uh, as you guys know, you probably took this class well. Why did you take this class? Because I think you really want to be able to speak English. You studied English for a long time, you did a TOEIC test, but uh, you're not really comfortable speaking. And I think this kind of teaching, this communicative language teaching, is going to help you to uh, speak better and be more confident in your ability. Okay. We learn by communicating. You learn when you talk to somebody who's a little bit better at English than you. You learn when you listen to a native speaker and you really get a feel for how they actually use English and use expressions, right? 
We learn when we face challenges. And often by sitting here looking at a screen, I think you don't really face many challenges except maybe the challenge to stay awake, right? So that's unfortunate, but However, Sashu Ge Hueke Byongyongi Isata. There's been a change of plans due to the COVID 19 and the E class formula. Instead, instead of communicative learning, we're going to be doing lectures, right? Gangyon. Well, it's a Huehua class. How can we do this? I'm not 100% sure about that. I'm sort of new at this too. I'm new at this online lecturing too. So, what can we do about that? Well, you got to think about what are we using this for? Is this useful? What do you think? Well, I don't know. The only thing we, I know that we can do is we can try our best. We can try our best. We're all in this problem together, right? We're all in this problem together. So please bear with me. Just try not to be like these students, right? They seem to be very, very tired in their lecture class. So let's think about goals. What are your goals, your mokpyo, for this course? Hmm, good question. First, to get comfortable using English in natural situations. Well, what is a natural situation? Hmm, any ideas? Well, a natural situation might be some things like, well, when you're abroad, ordering food, ordering coffee. One of the things that always surprises me are students who go abroad or foreigners who come to live in Korea. And, you know, the most basic thing they, they have trouble doing, even like ordering a pizza or something like that, or getting a coffee at Starbucks, they can't do it. So uh, I think this is a natural situation you might need to be comfortable in. Going shopping, right? This is another natural situation, especially since so many students these days are traveling, right? And there's so much good shopping. Some people might want to travel, right? This is a really big one, although these days we're having trouble traveling because of the virus. Ah, oh, so sad, so difficult. I was abroad this winter time. I went to Thailand and Vietnam and Malaysia and, and Singapore where the virus was happening too. And they weren't letting people travel. But I think soon things are going to get kind of back to normal and we're going to be able to travel again. And you're going to want to be able to be comfortable using English because we all know that English is is the language of travel, the language of commerce, and the language of, of business, right? And finally, I think I always wonder about this. I have so many students nowadays who have some girlfriend or boyfriend who's from another country, and uh, they might use English to communicate with your boyfriend or girlfriend, right? with your boyfriend or girlfriend. So this is happening more and more these days and people are getting more and more open-minded and I find they want to make a romance. They really want to make a romance, right? So oh, that's a kind of important one, I think. So let's draw our little heart around there, huh? Yeah, I'm not very good at that, but anyways, okay. Think about some other goals. That you might have right related to that is to learn what we call survival english what is survival well that survival is not dying right if you can order a pizza in another country if you can visit the hospital in another country then i think you're doing good on surviving okay some people might look at like i think some 
memorizing some basic phrases, right, for communications. Like, how do we really greet each other in English? This is going to help you survive and fit in in another country. Most of you guys know these all right, but I think I think that there's still some rules about politeness that may be a little bit awkward or strange for Koreans or other people who are studying English. Just because I know even after living in Korea, there's some there's some ways of talking and ways of asking things that are not really obvious to me. They're not really easy to guess and they're not the same as English. So I think these are kind of like important things and like ways to ask questions or ways to ask questions politely, ways to make requests or ways to talk to people who are a lot older than you or who are your boss, uh, ways to talk to your girlfriend or boyfriend are much different. So I think these are kind of like important things you need to do to survive in another language in another country, right? And we always make mistakes and, and, and cultures are different, but but I think that's one goal. I think it, when you get to the Jungup level, when you get to in, intermediate level, you kind of want to know a little bit more about that, right? And some people might want to level up, right? They want to they want to grow their level. Why do they want to grow their level? Hmm, well, they want to polish and improve their current English skills. They're pretty good, but something's missing. They don't feel confident 100% yet. Um, they're already kind of good at English, but maybe they're not really ready for some challenge that they have to meet. Uh, they want to be better. They want to be better than somebody else. They're comparing themselves to somebody else. They need a TOEIC score. They need a TOEFL score. They need this. They need this for their major, right? They need to study this for their major. Uh, their major is engineering, or their major is tourism. Uh, their major is something related to medicine, and all the text and the websites are in English. It's like impossible, right? So it could be necessary for you to level up, right? Could be necessary for you to level up. Uh, I saw here a picture of Lee Byung Hun. I know he's kind of a bad guy, we know, but I thought it was interesting because Lee Byung Hun got a lot of different parts in Hollywood, even playing like Japanese characters or Chinese characters because he was so good at English, right? He really stood out, even though he's not Japanese or Chinese, he was able to get those parts because he was so good at English and he could work with the directors and he could work with the other actors. So and there's Claudia Kim. We know her from the Avengers. Again, she was quite good in English, so she's able to get big, big parts in Hollywood movies. Right? We have their BTS, of course. They're not all good at English, but they're pretty good and they can communicate pretty well. And I think that's helped with their popularity, right? And of course, um, I know a lot of Koreans are really proud of them. And maybe you know Chang Ha Jun. He's like a he's a famous Korean economics writer, and a lot of people in in America or Canada or in abroad have read his books. And I think, of course, his mastery at English um, was probably really really important uh, for his popularity, right? His popularity. So uh, there are a lot of reasons that you might want to level up, and a lot of benefits to doing it: fame, success, money. I think just for yourself, right? So you can feel better about yourself. I know many people are, are studying English just for this reason, right? Just for this reason too. So what is your goal, right? What is your goal? Okay. Well, one thing I can say is that no matter what happens, we're always here to make new friends and have a good time while using English. We usually have students from a lot of different countries in the class, so I think it's a really good way to get to know each other and get to know about other people. Uh, you sometimes go out with your new friends. We become very, very close in some classes. And I think if we can do that at least while using English, I think that I would consider this class to be a success. So like on the first day of class when we get together, one really, really important thing that I would like to do is I hope you guys get at least one new Kakao Talk contact from somebody. Yeah. So if we have some problem in class or if you didn't hear what the homework was or you have a question and you can't talk to me, 
you can always send a message to another student in the class and you can ask them, right? You can ask them about it. So um, again, what is your goal? Think about your goals. I really want you to spend some time thinking about why you're here in this class. Not just, I want to be good at English, but I want you to think about, really think about why you want to be good at English, why you want to improve, okay? This is going to be part of a little small assignment that I often give my students, no matter what class they're in, I like to give my students this. Right. Okay. Okay, so some important information, uh, class schedule and grading well if you come to uh the e-portal class uh, e-class on the portal namsol's portal you should be able to download the gangi geokso the the syllabus for this class and it gives a general idea about what to expect in the the shigampyo the, the schedule of this class i uh, of course is a really strange situation so because of our virus situation and no no in class, so things could change a bit. Please, please understand some things are beyond our control, but for the most part, I'm gonna to try to stick to it as best as I can. Okay, what do you need to do for this class? Well, it's gonna tell you on that paper, the most important thing in this class is to participate. Participate in the lecture, participate in assignments, in group work to ask me questions, to talk in class, to share with other students, especially in English. This is participation and it's worth 50% of your score. Some students are really, really good at this and some students, they're a little bit shy about this. How about you? How about you? Think about, are you willing to participate? It's a very important part of our of our class. So what is it? Remember asking questions, talking to me. Then we have our midterm test. It's worth about 15%. It's 10% uh, of it is from your spoken and 5% is written. Sometimes I change this around. Again, this semester, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. We might have to limit our speaking one on one to each other at that time because we I'm not sure if classes are going to get canceled or not. I hope not. I think not. But we might have to change out a little bit. But for now, speaking 10 percent, writing 5 percent. This is a midterm test. I know students hate speaking, but again, this is a conversation class and you're going to get better if you challenge yourself, right? You're going to get better if you're able to challenge yourself. So the midterm is coming up. That's on week eight. I think that's the week of April 20th. Things can always change and get messed up, but right now we're shooting for April 20th for this, okay? Okay, and then we have a final. It's a written form. It's worth 10%. And that's the week of June 8th. We might have a makeup week as well. I'm not sure how it's going to work. So we might have to push it ahead a little bit. But for now, we have it scheduled for the week of June 8th. I like to finish it before the end of class. Homework is 10% of your grade. I know many students don't like homework, but it is... It is a language class and you don't have much time to speak English. So homework is very important uh, for you to get some English practice during the week when you're not in class, right? Get some English practice when you're not in class. I don't give a lot of homework, but I do give some of it and I try to take a grade. And there's a final presentation. It's worth 15% of your score where you're going to come up in front of the class and you're going to speak to all of the other students about some topic. And we'll talk more about exactly what I want that topic to be later on. Okay, so there you are. The class schedule and grading. Again, it can change somewhat, but this is what we're shooting for at the moment. If it changes, please don't get angry. You understand our situation is very, very strange this semester. 
So I'm going to try to stick to it as much as possible. Grading scale, you guys already know this. This is NAMSOL rules. In this class, 25% of students will get an A. 35% will get a B. And the 40% will get C's, D's, or F's. You know this. I can't change it. I have no power about this situation. Do I think that it's fair? Well, no, not really. In many classes, I think every student gets A's, should get an A. In other classes, I think there are many, many students who deserve a C. But unfortunately, this is the rules we have to follow, not only at Namsul University, but in all the universities in Korea, right? All universities in Korea, the rules are the same. So I'm really happy to explain your grade to you at the end of the semester. But please know, I don't have much ability to change people's grades because uh, if I change somebody's grade, that means one person goes from a B down to a C. And I think that's not really fair, right? That's not really fair. So, and nowadays after the scandal with Choi Soon Chil and Park Geun Hye, People are getting more sensitive about these grading problems. So, and I think that's a good thing. I think that's a good thing for Korea and a good thing for you and a good thing for me and everybody involved. It improved the value of Korean education, right? So don't think too much about this. Most students, if you study, if you do well, you're gonna get an A or a B. And a few students, I know every time they get busy and they stop coming to class, or they just lose interest in, in, in studying. I know we're all busy in our life. It's not a big thing. It's not an important thing. But these students often tend to get the C's. So don't worry too much about it, okay? Don't worry too much about it. Just focus on what you need to do for now, okay? Whew, I think I need a drink of water. The air is very dry these days in Korea. I hate that dry winter Korean air. Please, spring, come, come and warm us and bring some water and kill, kill coronavirus, please. Yes, okay. What you need to do is also please purchase the English in Common book. Please purchase the English in Common book. You can get it at the Nam Sol bookstore. Uh, this picture that I have here, it says the workbook, but you don't want to buy the workbook, please. Please don't buy the workbook. Um, yeah, don't buy that. Don't worry about the thing workbook. It says English in common. Um, I think it says three. You can check the Nam Sol bookstore. Sometimes they change it, but this, this is the book that you need here, English in common. You can order it online. Um, and please pick it up, okay? I also include some supplemental materials. I'm going to be including something extra today as well for the class. Um, you can maybe a YouTube video or a handout or some pictures. Um, I'll try to include them online or give them to you in class, hopefully once class starts again pretty soon, okay? So please pick up this book. I think it costs man yuk. Chanwan, on you, Chanwan, and it's uh, available in the bookstore, and it's available in Jim Market and Aladdin, and uh, maybe your Sunday has a copy of it that they never used or didn't use very much. So please pick it up, and we can start working. It's not a bad book. It has a little CD with some things you can listen to and things you can watch. Please use it as a tool. It's not the only thing that we use in class but it is an important thing that we use in class. So check it out. English in Common 3. You got a picture? Take a snapshot with your phone, put it in your gallery next to all of your selka in pictures of mocha, latte, keki, etc. Yes, I know. Well, let's think about something. We don't have a lot of time to talk about everything. I know you guys don't want to listen to me talking in a video, 
but we do have to do a little bit of talking in English and you know we can't really have a conversation but I thought we might be able to set things up for our um, you know for our conversation and for our our assignments that we're gonna have when we do end up coming back to class so, so I want you to think about what kind of personality do you have what kind of person are you what's your personality type I know many students say that they're shy or that they're happy they're a happy personality type they're bookish they like to read books how about you as an individual what's your personality type we're gonna do a little mini personality test here we're gonna do a little mini personality test here and I want you to think about who you are as a person okay so think about this question write this down if you have to it's your birthday imagine it's your birthday you're 20 21 22 23 years old sometimes I have students who are older what do you do a go out with your friends drinking have some soju somac anju B, go out to a restaurant with friends. Maybe you like to try foreign food, get some maratang, uh, go to a cafe, a bakery, and eat something with your friends. Or do you stay at home, download a movie, or watch Netflix, Netflix and chill, order pizza, and just chill, chillax, chill plus relax at home by yourself or with your family what do you do choose a b or c and write it down right now okay choose a b or c write it down right now okay are you ready next it's a sunny weekend no class there's no virus do you a have a picnic with family or your friends go to like a park or the mountain or uh hangang gangwon do you visit another city like uh travel to i don't know uh, gangneung or go up to paju um go to busan that's my favorite city in korea busan go to the beach or do you stay at home and play pc games i'm not sure is pc bong still very popular we don't have many good pc bongs here in songhan so i'm not sure if it's really popular anymore a lot of people have their own pcs and i know gaming is like super super popular in korea right uh so maybe you're one of the people who tries to do this uh so write down your answer a b or c Now it's your lunch time at school or work. Do you A, go to the gym, work out, get some muscles, uh, make sure you don't get fat. I know I have a lot of sports business majors. They're always hanging out at the gym. Or do you go out to lunch with your friends and eat? You're exactly the opposite. You just want to hang out with friends all the time. Or do you go and buy a gimbap and sit alone outside and eat it on the steps? <sighs> Sounds so sad, right? But some people like it. Some people get energy from being alone, right? I'm that kind of person, actually. I like to be alone. So what do you do? Write down your answer, A, B, or C. On summer vacation, do you A, go out at night, B, go sightseeing in Korea or abroad, Hewe, or C, lay out on the beach, 
on your summer vacation, how do you usually spend your time? Now write down your answers. So the next one says, you go shopping on vacation. Do you buy a hot outfit to wear at the club? A. B. Buy a book about the place you're in or a souvenir like something to remember the place. I'm the kind of person who does that, I think. Or C. Buy some ice cream or some other treat, like a junk food thing. If you go shopping on vacation, what do you do? What do you do? So what are your results? Count your A's, your B's, and your C's and find out what kind of person you are. So what is it? Okay, if you are mostly A's, then you are a party animal. Ooh, that's Brian from Family Guy. Maybe you already know him. Uh, so this is the kind of person I know a lot of my students, especially some majors. They're really good at drinking. They love to go out and talk to people. This is their life, right? This is their life. Okay. How about mostly bees? Who got mostly bees? If you had mostly bees, then you're a culture vulture. I like this kind of person a lot too. They might like art and books and going out and drinking coffee or something like that. I have occasionally some students who are like that. But sometimes they don't want to admit it. They don't want to admit it. They don't want to look smarter than somebody else. But that's fine. You should be proud of who you are if you are a culture vulture. And the last one, mostly C's, you are a couch potato. You like to stay home, watch TV, play PC games, look at your phone, eat junk food, maybe have a beer or a chocolate milk. You don't like to exercise. You don't really care about books or culture or something. You just are happy just hanging out. And there's nothing wrong with that. Again, you should be proud of it. What's it called in Korean? Jipsumi? I, I think that's the name of it, right? You like to stay home, just watch TV, nothing special. And that's fine, okay. Well, we did this little activity because I want you guys to uh, think about what kind of a person that you are. I want you to think about what kind of person you are, and uh, we're going to prepare some kind of assignment about this. Okay. When we return to class in two weeks, please think about who you are. What are your hobbies and interests? Do you really only love to party? I think most people are not 100% party animals. Do you really only like to study? And what are your goals? What are your goals for this class? What are your goals for life? What are your goals for your job? What are your goals for this semester? And we're going to do something with that. That will be your homework. I know you hate homework. You don't want to do homework, but we have to do something. We have to do something, right? <laughs> So I'm going to include in the class ePortal a kind of document here that you can download. There should be a Google Drive link or something that you can download and you can take it from there. Uh, print this and please put your photo on it so I can recognize who you are. I have so many students. I need to be able to recognize who all of these students are and match your name to your face. I have like a 100 students per semester. So please, please do that. And I want you to write here 
lots and lots of information, blah, 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 blah. My favorite food is I love blah, blah, chicken. I love to go out with my friends. Put your name, your student ID, and write everything about yourself and put your photo here. If you don't have a photo, it's a minus point, so please include it so I can remember who you are. Again, if you just write here, I like chicken. It's a simple answer. Please write lots. You have a lot of time to do it. You don't need to do it very quickly. Take your time. Students who write a lot get good grades. Students who write a little get so-so grades. Okay. It's due on the first day of real class. So whenever we have a real class, hopefully in two weeks, you are going to bring this to me, print it with a photo, and give it to me and say, here you go, Professor Georgie. Please include a photo and print it. Don't forget. And it counts as a homework grade. Your first grade of the semester is so easy. So easy. You can download it again, the form on the E-Class Materials page, but if you have some problem and you can't do it or you can't get into the E-Class, you can make a profile on any piece of paper. Many of you are very creative. I know that you can do it, okay? So just remember to include a photo and lots of information. Okay. Now we're going to wrap up. We're going to finish for this week. So what do you need to do? Well, first of all, you need to please buy the book. It's called English in Common. You can see it at Nam Soul Bookstore, or you can find it online. There are no ePDF copies that I know of. Uh, however, you can also use your Sunbase book if if there are a lot of empty spaces in the book. If they didn't do it, then you can just use that as well. Um, it's not very expensive, though, I think, for you guys. Uh, please download the profile document for homework. Complete it and print it. Remember that this is very, very important for your first assignment. I want to be able to get to know you. I want to be able to see who you are. I want to know about your interests. I know many times students have the same interests as me. So I like to be able to talk to them about those interests. Uh, download the syllabus. What is syllabus in Korean? I think Gangi Gehokso. Is that right? Yes. That is our class information and the class schedule. So uh, this information is kind of important. Some students will look at it and read everything. Some students don't really care too much about it. Um, however, it's there if you need it. But remember that it might change in some cases. It might change a little bit in some cases. Um, so don't hold too much to it. Don't get angry if it changes, but remember the important dates like the midterm test and the final test should probably be, uh, should probably be the same as always. And don't forget, since we are in the middle of the virus outbreak, please uh, make sure that you get eight hours of rest. Sleep is important. Sleep is more important than drinking or staying up late and playing with your phone. Wash your hands and eat healthy food to protect yourself from the virus. Okay. So, well, that's about it for our class for today. Um, I had a lot of fun making this video. It's my first time to do that. Um, I know it's not easy to listen to a professor talk for one hour or two hours, but unfortunately our situation makes it so that we have to do it, right? 
So, but I really want to get to know you guys and I want to talk to you. So I encourage you again, please uh, send me some, some email or something. If you want to talk to me, you have some question. Remember my email is J O R G E dot N A M S E O U L at gmail dot com. Again, you can visit me also in my office on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, and probably Monday and and possibly Friday as well. Um, and that is in Sangyong Hakwan in room 104. My name is on there. If I'm in there, just knock on the door and come in. I love to have visitors. Okay. So again, guys, very nice to talk to you. Please buy the book, uh, download the profile, print it, put your photo, download the syllabus, and and come by and say hello, or or send me an email and say hello. I'm waiting for it, and I look forward to starting this semester. Have a great week. Stay healthy. Stay happy. Fighting.